Hello, my name is Christian Morgan. I'm a family support worker here at the Parkdale High Park Early On Center. And we're gonna do we're gonna do some songs and and a couple stories with a specific theme in mind. Bernadette, do you wanna elaborate? Um first I would like to say hello to everyone. Bonjour, buenos dias, bon giorni, bon dia. Mabuhay. My name is Bernadette, and a family support worker at Parkdale High Park early on, Child and Family Center. So let's have fun and sing along with us. Will you? And what are we going to sing? We're going to sing holiday songs, right? So we've got some Christmas songs, and we've got, um, and we're going to do the dreidel song. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Are you going to go first? Um, okay. It's my turn. One, two, three. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año, Felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Awesome. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. All right. So yeah, we're each we're just gonna do I think six tongue songs all together. Um, this uh, this next song is one. If you happen to have some bells lying around, you might wanna you might wanna start ringing them. And uh, Bernadette, I'm gonna. Great. <laughs> So it's called Jingle Bells. So here we go. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, bat laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifted bank and then we got upside. Uh oh, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Awesome. Okay, so I think I'm going to be the next. We're going to sing Santa Claus is coming to town. So you better watch out. Okay, get ready. 
You better watch that. You better not cry. You better not part. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good, for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good, for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not part. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Thank you. Awesome. It's the, the big brothers watching aspect of Christmas, right? <laughs> All right. So this, we're going to do the dreidel song. Um, and I guess this is a version of the song that I, I've sort of learned, and I'm still a little I'm still a little uh, foggy on the details of how to play the dreidels game, but uh, you get an idea here, right? <laughs> I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. Oh, dreidel, dreidel. Dreidel, I made it out of clay. Oh, dreidel, 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 then dreidel I shall play. It has a lovely body with legs so short and thin. When it gets all tired, it drops and then I win. Oh, dreidel, 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 with legs so short and thin. Oh, dreidel, 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 it drops and then I win. My dreidel's always playful, it loves to dance and spin. A happy game of dreidel, come play now, let's begin. Oh, dreidel, 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 it loves to dance and spin. Oh, dreidel, 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 come play now, let's begin. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Dreidel, 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 then dreidel I shall play. <laughs> awesome. There it is. Yep. That's beautiful song, and uh, it's my turn. We're going to sing Frosty the Snowman. As you may see, the snow is coming, and uh, I think it's time for us to make, this, make a snowman. But, but first of all, we're going to sing. Are you going to sing with me? Frosty the snowman, we do any happy soul, with a corn cob pipe and a bottle nose and two eyes made of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. But when they place it on his head, he began to turn that dance around. Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Trumpity, trumpet, tum, tum, trumpet, tum, look at Frosty go. Trumpity, tum, tum, trumpet, tum, tum, over the hills of snow. Oh, Frosty the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Yay! <laughs> He's alive! <laughs> 
Thumpity thump thump. All right, we got one more song, and then Bernadette. Bernadette's going to read us a couple stories. Um, so this is, we all, maybe maybe you know it. It's called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. <laughs> All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, he'll go down in his story. <laughs> Rudolph. Awesome. Very nice song. The glowing nose uh, reindeer. Yes, like my <laughs> nose. <laughs> like your nose. <laughs> You don't have a glowing nose. I, I'm more likely to have the glowing nose. <laughs> because I have a round nose, that's why. Oh, I as, <laughs> as we celebrate Hanukkah, I'm going to read a classic book entitled Something from Nothing. The author is from Toronto, Phoebe Gilman. So let's start reading. Something from Nothing. I think. <laughs> When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled. It's worn, it's unsightly, and it's torn. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can, grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandmother took the blanket and turned it round and round. Mmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out in and out. There's just enough material here to make. A wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and he went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small, doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Oh, grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round and round. Mm -hmm. He said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough more material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with blue and there's paint on it. It's time to throw it out. Well, if I can fix it, Joseph answered to his mom. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, snip, and his needle flew in and out, in and out, there's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday at Sabbath day. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, 
Joseph, look at your tie. This big straight, this big stain of soup makes the end of it. Joseph took. It is time to throw it out, as mother said. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and round it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his people collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's plucked and it's splattered. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle, needle flew in and out, flew in and out, flew in and out, flew in and out. There's just enough material here to make. And guess what? A wonderful button. <laughs> Joseph wore, wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where's your button? Joseph looked. It was gone. He, scratched, he searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. But my button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone. Finish, kaput. Eh, even your grandfather cannot make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, He's, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Mm. He said, as his pen went scratch, 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 scratch over the paper, there's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. And that's the end of something from nothing book. Thank you. Okay, I have another one here to read. Don't sleep yet, I'm not done. <laughs> this is 10 black dots. We're going to count. Remember, one to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and 10, that's my counting. Okay, what can you do with 10 black dots? That's the title, 10 black dots, okay? One that can make a sun or a moon when day is done. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox or the eyes of keys that open locks. We are number three, number four, am I right? Oh, I almost missed, it's three. One, two, three. So three dots can make a snowman's face. There we are, we are a snowman again. Or beads for stringing on a lace. Four dots can make seeds from which flowers grow. Can we count? One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's the Spanish language. Or the knobs on a radio. Five dots can make buttons on a coat. Oh, here we are the buttons again. We just finished the, the, <laughs> the story of the book. One, two, three, four, five buttons. Or the portholes of a boat. Six dots can make marbles that you hold. 
Half are new, the rest are old. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake or stones turn up by a garden rake. And eight dots can make the wheels of a train carrying fre freight through the sun and rain. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank. Can we count again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine soldiers. And the pennies in your piggy bank, that's nine pennies. Ten dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. And shake the brands and set them free. It's all fell. So here we are. We count the one, we count the two, and the three dots for five. So you will continue to count until 10. So we are half finished to count, and that's the end. Oh, you've got one more book? I, I thought we were just doing two books, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't sleep yet. I have a wonderful one last right. book to read, okay? Please bear with me. This the, the title is The Gifts. Because of the holidays, everyone, most of the people are giving gifts. But some people, they don't need to give gifts. And you don't have to expect to give, to receive any gifts. And that is fine. It's not only holiday we can receive gifts. Sometimes during your birthday, you can receive gifts, right? So this one is a different gift we're going to talk about. Now, my grandma, when traveling, said, what would you have me bring? Not much, said I. Just a piece of the sky in a hundred songs I can sing. Can you see? My grandma went to Africa, said, what would you have me bring? Just a bulbob seed. That's all I need. And a roar from the jungle king. It means the lion. Yeah, that's the way the lion king roar. And my grandma went to Australia, said, what would you have me bring? Just a didgeridoo. What is didgeridoo? Some billabongo <laughs> and a boomerang I can fling. I thought they're asking for kangaroo because Australia is a lot of kangaroo. <laughs> now my grandma went to Mexico, said, what would you have me bring? Just a sunrise kiss by the morning mist. And the whir of a hummingbird's wing. My grandma went to Hawaii, said, what would you have me bring? Just the secret wish of a flying fish and a rainbow to wear as a ring. That's cute. There is the window, rainbow. Can you see the rainbow from the book? Yes, it's there. My grandma went to the Arctic, said, what would you have me bring? Just a long white hair from a polar bear. Ooh, ooh. And an iceberg on a string. Here's the iceberg. That's cute. My grandma went to India, said, what would you have me bring? Just something nice like curry and rice and a sitar swan and zing. Oh, that's a kind of instrument. That's nice, but I like more the curry and rice. Mm, yum, yum. That's not a part of the story. That's me talking. <laughs> My grandma went to Switzerland and said, what would you have me bring? Just a chunk of cheese and a mountain, please. And a bell that goes ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. 
attached to Switzerland. Lots of mountains. And my grandma went to China and said, what would you have me bring? Just something small from beside the Great Wall. And a memory from Beijing. So my grandma went to England, said, what would you have me bring? I'm excited what she's going to ask. Just the smell of rain from a shady lane and a ride on a garden swing. I thought she's going to ask for the queen's crown. <laughs> my grandma had a, such a wonderful time that now we are going to. And everything she gave to me, I'm going to give it to you. And that's the end of the story. Awesome. Thank you for reading all those books, Bernadette. So that's it for us for now. And uh, hopefully you're having a great time this December. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.